Hello everyone, this is Caroline coming to you from MC Beaters. I'm sorry, I was crafting. Excuse me for the noise and heads up, there is crinkling going on. Um, so uh, yeah, this is a ridiculous AliExpress haul and um, they keep coming in. So I want to do a video on it and I also want to use all my yummy stuff. So to begin, I'm going to start with the big stuff. And again, I apologize for the crinkling and I will have the links up, um, but it does take me a while. So I got these. Um, these are like, these are, I'm not going to open everything because of the crinkling and I didn't, um, kind of prepare myself for this. So, uh, you open these up, they look like little candies and you could put something inside. I also got these popsicle, not really, ice cream cone containers. And this again, when I fulfill my orders on Etsy, I always like to give people a jewelry, like free jewelry. So I could, this is a really cute little packaging to put my free jewelry in, actually. I should have ordered two of these because who doesn't like cute pink stuff? Okay, now over here, bell alert, the packaging opened as I was opening it. So I got these, I was going to use these for my bead dangles and my chunky charms, but I was thinking of using them on ornaments. So I'm going to start making some Christmas ornaments. I did a video and I'm not liking what I made, so I'm redoing my whole plan. I'm going to be using these and why not go with some pastels? Because, you know, Christmas, we had the pastelloween. Why can't we have the pastellarismus? <laughs> so I'm gonna, warning, there's noise, okay. Moving on, I purchased all of these. I thought they were bigger and I should know better because I should know better. But I got all these and I think they're really cute, the spacer beads. So I got the, these, I ah, can't talk today. I have furniture coming soon, so I'm trying to hurry this up. So I purchased these. These come in a bunch of golds and I don't know. I am not gonna stop the video and zoom in because I notice when I do that, my voice gets really low, not intentionally, but because it does it on the video. I don't know why. All of a sudden you can't hear me. So the volume goes down. So I'm not, I'm just going to keep on going. <laughs> no editing today. <laughs> that might be scary. Pink. These are a little bit bigger. These are super cute. And I think the green are also kind of the same size yellow, red, and blue. I have um, something in mind I'm going to make with a chunky charm using these colors. I should really put these aside with these. I should put them over here. And blue and purple. Okay. So, moving forward, runaway bead. I also purchased some of these little self-sealing packaging. I think this is four by six. It's not three and a half by five. I should have really got a bigger size of five by seven. But I'm always using these. I'm going to put these away now so I don't forget. I also picked up some washi tape because I use a lot of washi tape. Again, for my crafts and for, I'm looking for where this opens, so I'm not just going around and around the circles. For my packaging, you know, for my orders, I like to, you know, put like a little zigzag of washi tape. So Allie has the cutest washi tape, I have to say. I have a ton of it at work and I don't know why I don't use it. <laughs> I just like to look at it, but I do have a plan block where I make my plans for, you know, the week for the students. So I kind of decorate my manual lesson plan, not the one I do online. I purchased this one. It has like all the fall type of motif with the pumpkins and the fall colors. This one has flowers. So I got these. I'm going to put these away right now. Okay. Moving forward, I purchased these three. I do a lot of beads and charms because obviously my main crafting choice, my choice of craft, craft of choice, I don't know, 
is bead dangles and purse charms and anything with beads. I'll, I even dangle up, bead dangle up my ornaments. So I purchased fuchsia, purple, and it's a mix of aqua and blue. And they put some lights, mediums, and dark tones of each color. And these are the metallic beads I purchased. They have a metallic look. Obviously, they're not metallic. And I also have some more of these crystal beads. I don't know if you guys can see that. I think these were just like 79 cents free shipping. These I purchased. I didn't realize how teeny tiny they are, they are but I don't care because guess what? They have friends. So, <laughs> and I got them in white. I think I got them in another color. Yeah, it'll come up eventually. So multicolor, pale blue, and white. I purchased these clay beads. I figured that would look cute at, to use as spacer beads in between. I love these types of beads. These are little tiny, I don't know if you guys can see them, stars. Here, let me... light over. It's not working, but the little star beads. And like I said, I don't want to annoy you guys with the crinkling, so that's why I'm not taking it out. These are round. And these are flowers. So cute. Then I purchased, I don't know what you call these type of beads. It's like a, a white solid in the middle and it has like a crystallized formation. These are acrylic, but that look, I don't know what you call it. Again, pastels and pinks. Then I purchased these. These have a marbleized look. So I got them in like every color I could find. So here's orange, green, and I think you get about 20 in each. Brown. Oh, this is so cute. So this and this can go actually with what I have in mind. Um, I thought I got every color. Blue. I like that. It's like a navy blue. Okay. Then I got these gumball beads. I think they're 16 millimeter. I got them for my full projects, yellow, orange, and white. More little metallic. I don't know if these all came from the same seller. I have to check. I'm really not quite sure. It might have been. Then I got these. I love these. These are square beads. How fun are these? I got them in white blue with white stripes and green with white stripes. I've never used anything but a round bead, believe it or not. And I also would do nothing without a pink. Come on. I purchased, I love these and I think it's Angel Loves Unicorns. Angel, if you're out there, hi. Um, she has these beads, and I love them. She used them in her purse charms. I think these are like the same. I don't know, but they give that glow-in-the-dark look, but they don't, just depending on how the light hits. So you can't really tell. But of course, I got them in purple. Dark purple. Another dark purple. Pink. Yellow. And And orange. Okay. Another little set, probably that went with the other, you know, the other beads that I got. And I got them in two sets of pink. These are super cute and tiny and adorable. And I have these in larger colors. I mean, larger sizes that I purchased from Amazon. I also purchased, I love these beads. I actually purchased a larger 
container. I think it was an Amazon purchase, but they were bigger. So I got these in purple. These are six millimeter pink. Light pink. And I got them in smaller sizes. Again, like a neon pink. Sorry for the glare. Um, fuchsia pink. And a teeny tiny fluorescent green. Oh, here's another pair, um, package of the marbleized acrylic. Put them all together so I don't get confused. Then, I love these. I forgot what kind of beads to call these. I forget names. I forget my own name sometimes, but they have, like, the little dots on the outside that kind of come out. A tough one. So, I got these in orange. Light mauve. Pretty pink, like a pearlesque, a white, another light mauve, red, yeah, 20 come in there, and look at these teeny tiny ones, I just can't, so these are even smaller. Okay, then I purchased, I'm going to get to the, the charms, don't you worry. All right, I got these little pearlesque white ones. I love them. Can you still get what I plan on doing? No, I'm not going to match. Okay, then I got from a different seller. These are the multicolored ones. This is like growing and growing. All right, then I got these. Uh, this one is plastic. It's not like that other kind of plastic. It won't make that much of a twinkling sound. These are little teddy bear charms. These are so cute. I can't even, I can't wait to play with them. Okay, so that is the beginning of my charms. But before I do that, I want to show you guys some really cute beads I got. I purchased two of these. These are pastel, and these are, yeah, these are two, and they're like little stars. I'm going to make a little toy star bee charm, and a My Melody. I so want to go back to 1985. Okay, and then I got these. They're very bright, bright bows, and very tiny. If you compare it to my nail, you can see how tiny they are, but fun nonetheless. Then I got these. I thought these would be so much fun to like put in between beads, you know, like they're gonna, they're funky, they're gonna make the bead protrude up and just make it fun. Okay, I also purchased some more head pins. Okay, okay, more head pins. Then I also purchased two. More sets of bead caps because I use bead caps with all my purse charms. I like I like to use bead caps. Not all the time. Sometimes I'm like, eh, you know what? This is more of a fun, cutesy type purse charm, but I won't use the bead caps in that kind, but for anything that looks like um like eh, never mind. I won't get it out. I'll just use my arm. But I always use them. So I got them in silver and gold. Um more head pins. Gold spacer beads. These are so cute and micro, and I love them. Um, what else? Rondells. I thought I got more than one. Yes, I did. I got, I think you get 15 each. These are gold with rhinestones. And these are silver. Love to use rondelles too. Then I purchased, I think, did I make a purse charm with one of these already? I think I did. Yes, I did. I bought two of these and it actually has a real, um, watch in it. Okay, wait, wait, ready? Look at that and you can use it. And I like to put that, I obviously take the chain off and at the bottom of the purse charm. How adorbs. You know what? I'm going to put this because that's my next that's gonna go up my next project 
Okay, what else before I get into my charms am I going to show you guys? Okay, so I also purchased these Lobster Claw Class. I like them. They're larger than the average. I don't know what size because I never do. And moving forward, I purchased them. Okay, sorry about that, guys. So I also purchased them in gold and silver. Then, am I almost at the charm? Oh, yes, here's the other one. No, I did not use this in a first charm yet. That is correct. See, sometimes my memory serves me well. All right, now can I start with my, yes, I can. Okay, so charms, I don't think this is gonna make too much of a sound. Oh my goodness, these look like Swarovski crystals. This is Mickey Mouse. I'm gonna make a Mickey Mouse charm. I am going to so do that. I am so super excited. These are so pretty and you can't even see the luster of it under these lights right here. And I have like a million lights on. I don't know why, but these are so, and they're heavy. These are really, really, really nice. I also purchased these to go with it. They are Minnie Mouse with the classic red and black. I got, I'm not going to open these up. These are like just little, your basic plastic, fun, heart-shaped charms. And then, from a different seller, I got these charms, and it's all different fruit. I mean, so cute. So cute. This is more like a spring or summertime project. I got these. These are really nice. These are like clear plastic. This I could use actually. I could use a couple colors in here for my next project. I talk about my next project like it's going to be like after this video. Meanwhile, it won't be for like a month. Okay. Then these are so pretty. I think these were like 65 cents free shipping. These are fall leaves. I'm going to put this with my next project pile. Oh, I cracked myself up. These, these were, I think, were like 50 cents. These were the cheapest thing I bought, honest to God, and free shipping. And these are like little brooms, broom, broom handles or broom, brooms. These are brooms. Then I got, these are so pretty. Where did I put my other ones? Oh, yeah, okay. These are more Mickey Mouse. Hold on. It's gonna, okay, you know what, here. You, you can't really see them, but in the bow, they have like, it's rhinestones or like crystal. I, it's just so cute, so cute. Then I got some pumpkin charms. Oh, these are like little beads that went with my other set of little beads. Then I got these, these are pink. They look like, I don't even know. Are they peach? Oh, these are bows. Okay. These are little bows. And then the seller gifted me this beautiful bird charm. Isn't that beautiful? That is, I love birds. Then I got these. I'm never going to be able to get them back in. I know it. I know it. But I'll just take one out. Look how big this is. It says perfectly, oh no, I'm sorry, pretty girl. And these are so cute. So those cutesy type chunky charms. And the last are these flat back cabochons. I love these. I love birds. So these are, it came, they came in all different colors, blue, like all different patterns. And these are just so pretty and they are significant. They're about, I want to say an inch across, a half inch length. And these are so gorgeous. I just stick my, where are my where are my clear, clear bales? I know they were there somewhere. These are gold. Oh, whatever. Put a clear or gold or, or silver, whatever your theme is. I mean, come on. These are so cute. So that is what I got. I have more coming, trust me. And um, this was a super large haul. I mean, this this I think that I had over 65 items in here. I don't know. But thank you guys so much. Thank you for your condolences as well. I appreciate each and every one of you. And um, when I do get to that project that I keep talking about, I will do another video. So bye for now. Have a great weekend.